everyone, welcome to First Page Fun Days where I highlight the first page of a book um, and we just have fun with it, hence the name. All right, so today I am combining a First Page Fun Days with an unboxing. Um, this is actually a pre-order that I got and um, I just haven't opened it yet. I know what it is and I'm going to share it with you and then we're going to share the first page. Um, so let's just dive right into this. By the way, this is a uh, pre-order from Baker Bookhouse. All right. I know my packing slip's going to be in there somewhere. Just... All right, so here it is. Feast your eyes. Let me move all the packing stuff. Feast your eyes. On the loveliness. Oh my gosh. I am so excited for this book. I can't tell you. Well, actually, I can tell you, tell you and I'm gonna in just a few minutes. Okay. So the book that I'm highlighting today is Across the Ages. It is book four in the Timeless series by Gabrielle Meyer. This is a Baker, Baker, uh, Bethany House release. And it is a historical fiction, but it's actually in the category of speculative historical Christian fiction. So, and I'll show you why in just a second. Let's, let's first read what it's about. Caroline holds a deep secret. Living in 1727 and 1927 simultaneously, each night she goes to sleep in one life and wakes up in the other. In search of answers to her unique existence, Caroline stumbles upon a letter from her mother hinting at her own experiences as a time crosser, sending Caroline on a daring quest to uncover the truth. In 1727, Caroline disguises herself as a cabin boy and joins a ship sailing for the Bahamas, her mother's last known location, where she crosses paths with a ruthless but handsome pirate and is caught in a web of secrets, deceptions, deception, and unexpected alliances. In 1927, St. Paul, Minnesota, Caroline grapples with her other life as the daughter of a renowned preacher. Her two older brothers have fallen prey to the corruption rampant during Prohibition, and Caroline struggles to keep her involvement hidden to save her father's career. As her search for answers from about her time crossing leads her to the dangerous yet exciting world of speakeasies, Caroline enlists the help of a childhood friend who is now a police officer. But with her family's future at risk and her loyalties tested, Caroline faces a life-altering decision that could reshape her destiny. Okay, so right away, this is why it's speculative. It's not just normal historical fiction. Um, these stories are about time crossers, where, as it says at the very beginning here, they live in two different time frames, and they basically wake up each day in the other time frame. And they do that till they're like, depends on the person, but it's like 21 or 25 or... <laughs> I'm not quite sure of the rules there, but like in their 20s, where they make a choice to actually stay in one of the timelines. So... That's what makes it speculative. All right, let me take my paperwork out. Oh, look, I got fun stuff. I pre-ordered, so I get a couple of things. Like, here's a signed book plate. And then uh, here's a bookmark. And here actually is the Timeless series currently. So I'll get back to talking about that in a second. But let's dive into this first page. Okay. So um, this is, by the way, this is 2024. This is a brand new release. It's released, released in November of 2024. And here is the first page. May 21st, 1727, Middleburg Plantation, Huger, South Carolina. My bare toes dug into the hard-packed earth as I beat the rug on the back line, watching the dust melt away into the setting sunlight. It moved, over, it moved through the drooping Spanish moss on the ancient oak trees overhead, making me long for my troubles to fade away so easily. My arms burned from my task, and yet my anxious thoughts did not disappear, nor did the work calm my fearful heart. No matter how hard I tried to forget, the reality of my life was still with me, or rather, the reality of my lives. I didn't know what to call my existence or why it happened to me. When I went to sleep tonight in South Carolina in 1727, 
I would wake up in Paris, France in 1927 tomorrow. And when I went to sleep in Paris, I would wake up in, the, in South Carolina again the next day with no time passing while I was gone. I had two identical bodies, but one conscious mind that moved between them. And I had been going back and forth since I could remember, perhaps from the very beginning of my strange life. My breath came hard as sweat beaded on my brow. If only I could release the secrets my heart kept hidden. Just as I released the months of dust and dirt from the rugs, everything about my life was one secret built upon another, a fortress of mysteries too high to breach. Ooh, and there you have it. Okay, if you like this video, please take a moment to hit the like button down below. And also, if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, it'll let you do, know when I do my first page fun days and also when I do my unboxings or when I do both. And as always, I love your comments. What'd you think about the first page that we read? Um, have you read anything in this series or have you read anything by Gabrielle Meyer? She's got a pretty long backlist. Or if you just want to say hi, that's okay too. I love your comments. I read and respond to them all. So i um, just going to put a kind of a plug out there. I am no way aff affiliated with, with uh, Gabrielle, um, but I can tell you I have read every single book in this series so far. These are absolute pre-orders for me. And by the way, she's actually got one coming out in May of 2025, which I've already pre-ordered. And uh, another one in the works, I think for fall of 2025. Um, there's kind of just little teasers about that one currently. So there is more in this series. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm going to gush. This is the best, one of the best series I have read. I have loved this series. Um the speculative idea is is interesting and not not done too much, and especially the way she does this, you wake up and want the conscious mind going between two bodies. Um, man, she has just nailed the idea, and it's it's awesome. The books are wonderfully well written. I I can't gush enough about them. I love them. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. I loved every one of them. This hence why I pre-order them the moment they get out there for pre-order. <laughs> These are, they're just so good. They are just so good. So definitely recommend them. If you've not read any of these, go back to the first one. You really want to do the first one. You can read these as standalones, but I recommend that you start with the first one and go forward because they do connect and they, they all connect somehow. And if you, you know, jump into it, yeah, they're standalones, but you can get spoilers for previous books and we don't want to do that. So just start with the first one. All of them are very good. Very good. Have all been five stars for me. I'd rate them 10 stars if you could actually do that. So, okay. I'm done gushing. <laughs> so thanks so much for stopping by and watching my video. And you guys are awesome. Have a great day.